What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Man, excited to be out here again. So today we're talking about coming down something steep. So developing the confidence, having the technique to start coming down, not just in a downhill track, right? There are other options to coming down stuff. So today we're gonna to talk about coming down stuff that's steep. Let's get into it. Okay, coming down something steep. Remember that as you come down and you don't always have an opportunity for the skis to be flat and you just to come down into something like it's just a built-in luge, if there is some off-camberness to it, chances are if I just do nothing and I'm just a chess piece on the sled, the snowmobile is just gonna follow the fall line, which as I'm looking what's in front of me, the fall line is angling towards a lot of this tree area there. I know I've got a narrow hallway to follow, so I'm gonna set my sled in a right side side hill. I'm gonna be stepping down, finger on the brake, and just try to work my way down this in a right side downhill track. Here we go. Nice and easy. This is one of those that it's not about speed more than it is about position. So coming down. <laughs> wow. All right, so as you guys can tell from coming down this, as you're kind of watching the play-by-play, -play, you know, you, you, you set up just like in the downhill track video. So link in that description, you guys remember that video. And when, when, when we do that video, we, we're, off, we're oftentimes doing stuff on shallow slopes where it's pretty easy for the brake to actually hold the sled against the hillside and you can kind of come down and step down. I absolutely love doing that, even with clients that have barely been on snowmobiles, right? Because it's a, it's a throttle and brake drill. It's an opportunity to, for people to put their sled on edge. Gravity is kind of helping you. You give it a little gas, you step down, and you just continue down the hill in a downhill track. And I absolutely love it. Killer way for us to either exit terrain that we don't want to be a part of or enter terrain that we certainly want to be a part of. So it's a really cool drill and one that is such a great one for your toolbox. Coming down something this steep, um, Really what this was about is position, letting that sled somewhat slide, it's gonna do it anyway. I mean, I'm fully locked up on my brakes and I'm kinda just letting gravity do all the work. But what I did that was correct, right, is I've laid my body against the hillside, I've heavily countersteered so there's no chance for that inside ski to ever catch the snow. Doesn't mean that that would catch the snow and then just tomahawk me down the hill, but it might take the front end of the sled, which any of you guys that have ever practiced or done kind of steep downhill tracks or elevators, how oftentimes the front end will catch, the ass end comes below that, and now you're stuck against that hillside when the objective was just to come down it. So the steeper the, the downhill, the steeper the terrain, nearly the more I want that nose to be down the hill and just be heavily countersteered, plowing into the snow, letting my A arms, a portion of the sled, and even my body be somewhat of a break. And so as I'm coming down the hill, I'm not wanting the sled to lay flat, not in any way, shape, or form. I'm actually wanting that thing to be as, as much on its side as it can be, and that was a killer example of that. Okay, so again, finding something relatively steep. I know I don't want to go straight down. So again, in a true downhill track fashion, set my sled at an angle. Remember, I'm gonna stay pretty forward on the running board. So my foot is a ways forward on the running board. And I'm gonna stay heavily counter steered, just trying to angle the nose of my snowmobile right down in here so that I don't let go of the sled and go down into, well, whatever that is down here. So the goal is towards camera, and that's where we're headed. Here we go. So again, not about speed. You can see I'm sloughing off a bunch of snow. Look at that. Sloughing down, 
and there's a couple of highway options right in other words areas that i could go straight down if i needed to but this is so much more fun so i've got a tree there and then i've got a potential bad spot that i don't want to get myself into so in the next 15 feet i'm going to give it some momentum right build some momentum so i get past this pine tree right in front of me there it is then i can actually put my track i mean look at that my track is right against that thing coming down something pretty steep now i've got a few more options i got some baby pines i can choose to split the middle go way low or continue to go high i'm going to split the middle right here so i'm bringing my sled back up a little bit of gas putting my body back in the snow and then back on the brake here we go boom resting against that pine coming down again yeah. all right let's uh let's finalize this video so coming down something steep you guys get it you've seen videos from our past we it kind of encompasses a ton of stuff it's throttle and brake it's how we initiate to put our sleds on edge time and time again i see people they come into something steep they maybe initiate into that downhill track and then they get lazy and they let the sled lay flat and how often i've watched sleds lay flat and now they're frozen they're like a deer in headlights they just sit neutral on the sled they let it build up a bunch of speed and then it's an oh my god moment when it doesn't have to be that way remember the moment that i you know get out of whack it doesn't mean that that's it like i'm going to reinitiate that side hill dump my body into the snow put that finger on the brake and then continue to try to keep my body forward as i'm coming down the hill mountain riding there is a ton of it where i'm doing a lot of that work especially when i'm in a downhill track and i'm trying to position the sled so that the back end of the sled doesn't start to get further down the hill than the front that requires me to move my body it's not just lay in the snow and forget about it there are times when i am driving my hips even putting my foot into the snow trying to redirect the front of the sled so that it stays in that downhill track motion Hopefully you guys like this video. Remember to leave those questions. There'll probably be some questions, some comments on specific snow conditions and how a downhill track would be affected or maybe it wouldn't be based on hard snow conditions. And I would just tell you that you put yourself in a bad spot, bad enough where you need a downhill track and the snow isn't gonna allow you to do that. That's when you'd really wanna come up with an alternative route. The snow has been awesome today. I've really been able to show you how our sleds can hold the hillside because we're just augering in that a arm we're really putting those sleds into the side hill and that's what's helping us keep our speed down if you're ever in a spot where it was a really rigid snow condition it's probably not gonna be the best alternative and you'd probably have to come up with something else which would be you guys have seen guys coming downhill using reverse it's not the most ideal situation have i used it and the answer is yes remember that when you are using reverse remember remember to apply brake then get on the gas and then let go a brake while you're in reverse so that you're you're not rolling one direction and then immediately jarring that thing to go the other direction so hopefully that answers one of those questions not something i'm going to do today leave those questions and comments and we'll see you guys next time